This is a video that I really wanted to make for you guys and really wanted to share. It was on my heart to share this. And so I'm just a man, which means I'm going to most likely mess it up a little bit. So I'd appreciate it if you give me some grace as Hillary and I try to explain this. <laughs> Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. Get in here, Hillary. Hello. I, I was going to do a video about, uh, it was, we, we had an idea to do a video about how to not go insane during the holidays. And I decided that's not possible. We wanted to do a video about the truth about Christmas. And we, neither of us grew up Christian. Um, so yeah, I just thought it would be interesting uh, to talk about versus the other idea. Sure. So, now, like what it means to me or no, the, the actual meaning of The Christmas? actual meaning of Christmas. It's interesting how we got to Santa and presents and all those different things. I mean, it's, it's cultural. One of the theories that I've come in my head is that Christianity, the idea of it is not to go in and destroy other cultures. Christianity is to love your neighbor and be very loving. I think that ends up assimilating a lot of other cultures into its culture. Does that make sense? Well, and because aren't there a lot of ancient cultures that had a, a sort of similar creation story? Or a, not a similar creation story, but like having to do with the winter solstice and like, I, I'm pretty sure there's some ancient cultures that have very similar ties to the story of Christ as far as like the time of year and... Um, and I think, I think that's just assimilation of other cultures into Christianity is my, like, like Saturnalia was this time of year, the December 25th right, right. Roman thing. And it was right around the time that um, the church was becoming part of Rome. Mm -hmm. And Right. And because in the past, the equinoxes and solstices have been such a, a like, important time of the year for different religions and cultures. Yeah, because it yeah. signified a big shift in their lifestyles, you know, the right. harvest and. But just in in the word Christmas, it's supposed to be about the celebration of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, his yeah, birthday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just which a, I, it's I just what we are as culture, of, as mm -hmm. far as what Christmas is in culturally in the United States today. Well, it depends what depends who you are. Well, if you're Christian, then it has it's the meaning of it is Christ's birth. But if you're not Christian, then it takes on the meaning of family and presents and Santa, you know. So I wouldn't generalize. That well, it's it, all well, it does. I mean, if you're changing the words, Christmas is about Jesus Christ. And I know. I just said that. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying that you were saying in the in our country in our culture that it's like it almost sounded like you were saying that like not everybody sees it that way which is true if right. you're Christian you do <laughs> right which, which I mean but people call Christmas like Santa and presents and all that and leave Jesus out of it yeah because they're not Christian <laughs> right but it's, but it's still and that's my point is that Christmas is about the celebration of Jesus Christ no matter what other cultures have been assimilated into it that's the origin of Christmas yeah yeah and yeah. that's that's what it that's the at the heart of it that's what it means but that's the yeah. one thing that gets ripped out of it it seems it right. has been ripped out of it well and um in one of the sermons where i was listening to it was talking about how if there's any time of year to talk about jesus it's this time of year because people are singing about him and even if they're not christian you know he's in all the songs and so it's like a good time to bring these things up like oh do you know what that part of the song is actually talking about and referring to and I thought that was a good point. Yeah, so we're going to come back and we're going to talk about why Jesus should be at the center of Christmas again. Oh, it's a nice light over here. Since we're, since we're back in the city, um, before we talk about why we should 
why I think that it's important to focus back on Jesus for Christmas, we could maybe talk about why it seems to be one of the more offensive things or things that makes people most uncomfortable to talk about. Um, yeah. Why is that? Why do you think that um, it's uncomfortable for people to talk about Jesus versus like Santa or any, anything else? Um, I don't know. Maybe it brings up feelings from childhood and I don't know. What about something that doesn't happen? I'm a little distracted right now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer for Hillary. I think it's because Jesus is real and Santa's not. Where is the <laughs> Don't touch anything. Ew! This is gross. There's money on there! Okay, I'm not putting my piece on there. What? No, you No! Eli, all this Eli I'll, I'll throw you up really high. This is gross. We touched on the birth of Jesus while we were at the animal sanctuary there, which is kind of cool. It's like the recreation of the, the manger area where they, they had to go have him born with the animals and, and be there. I thought that yeah, was cool. I don't, I don't know that I would call it a sanctuary. Well, whatever. It's a farm. <laughs> it's a farm. <laughs> it feels like a sanctuary to me. I love it there. And then we briefly touched on why it's controversial to talk about Jesus and why it causes so much... Uh, did we actually touch on that? No, well, we just touched on it. Like, I went uh, dink, yeah. and then walked away. While we are in the city, to me, represented, like, you know, a place like Ephesus or something where people are worshiping idols and consumerism is running rampant, and that seemed like a good spot for that. And now we're here in our peaceful walk, and I think this would be a good spot to bring up the third point, which is why it is good to have Jesus Christ be the center of attention on Christmas. Any <laughs> input as to why it's good? Why it's good? Um, I mean, because it, even if you don't believe in him in a sense of believing he is God or whatever, I don't think there's anybody that would argue against the fact that he was a great person and somebody to really emulate so, emulate yeah or to like a a role model and uh, somebody that um we all should strive to be like even if it's more in a moral sense rather than a spiritual or religious sense and then there's the fact that he was sent here by god to cleanse all of our sins and give us a relationship with god again which is the greatest gift we could ever ask for as a human species there's that too. That's, that's my that's my <laughs> that's my input. But reason share this with you guys because I really care about you guys and I I love you guys and otherwise I wouldn't. It's not to be like weird or judgy or holier than thou or anything like that. Yeah, when um when I was thinking about like why it's like can be a touchy subject or whatever, a lot of it is because some people have used the religion and Jesus for not the best reasons and it's caused a lot of people harm and so I think some people still still feel get that feeling when you talk about religion so, and yeah, like, so, oh, so. well and we've even talked about like the personal belief and like like there is a lot 
wrong with organized religion in some Yeah, some yeah I don't like organized religion either. I'm just talking about Jesus here. Okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about, you're like asking about the religious aspect of it. I don't like religion. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I don't like religion. Right, don't like and, it at all. Yeah, but, and like, I think it's just hard for some people to separate the two. I get it. That's what I'm saying. We're just people trying to share good news and good word. And that's, that's about it. Yeah. That's, I think, a big part of what we've searched for and what we've found as far as our faith goes. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're super pregnant and these hills are steep. I think the thing <laughs> that we're searching for is... I'm walking up there. <laughs> but no, like... We've been looking for either a church or a group of people who, who are really humble about Christianity and, and not necessarily like we have all the answers and everything we, everything we do and believe is right. It's, as soon as you got a person claiming they have all the answers, that's when you know you got to go the other way. Yeah, totally. I mean, yeah. So... Well, I appreciate you having your input with me on this today because it's, I was going to just do it just me and just me talk to you guys, but it's boring. always, it's bo okay. bo boring. <laughs> it's always weird. It just feels weird sometimes. Talk, it's better to have somebody to bounce ideas off of. So. Well, yeah, and I Thank think it's, it's also important to share that, like, you're talking about this stuff from your heart and it's not coming from a place of, like, because I'm doing this, you should do this, or if you don't do this, I'm doing this and so it makes you rot like it's just not it's just sharing our personal experiences and what we've been going through the past year and a half two years you were kind of <laughs> stepped in a pot like, like you were kind of there a little before me lots has happened <laughs> <laughs> lot has happened in that time <laughs> well thank you guys for watching we appreciate each and every one of you and take care of yourselves take care of each other and we'll see you on the next video Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>